Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It's time for a new game. Blazing Beaks. Quack, quack. Well, yeah, normally I know we go on this uh, stream at least. We go... But uh, in this case, we're having a little duck party instead of a piggy party. So, big thank you to the developers for the key uh, to try this game out. It looks really interesting. I think it's some kind of roguelike, um, or roguelite maybe, um, kind of shooty, top-down shooter game. Once again, very nice pixel graphic and the music seems really, really good. So, let's test this out. I've only tried about a minute or so of it to see if it runs well and gets picked up by OBS well. I know basically nothing about this game, which is how I like to approach things. So we're gonna jump into story. Um, there's the difficulty. Oh, Towhead, thank you for the 10 right at the start. Okay, cool. Um, so we're gonna do a normal run with our selected difficulty level. I'm playing with my joypad. You can play this with keyboard and mouse. You can play this with up to four people, but I think only locally in co-op. Um, but I think there's like online tournaments, which are PvP, but don't hold me to that. Okay, so apparently we have multiple characters. We have Duck, who has a Drizzler. Not shooting for one second, reloads your weapon for next shot three times faster has 50% lower weapon range. The platypus uh, also has 5 HP. The platypus has 2 HP. A pistol spec 2. Gets additional loot by killing marked enemies until the indicator disappears and has one key. The bluebird, who is at 3 out of 4 HP, has a pistol. Any damage taken having 1 HP left decreases your maximum HP. By entering boss level, refills health, converting every 5 coins to 1 HP. Required amount of coins increases with every loop. The chicken has a swift, uh, can kill marked enemies in one shot, shoots inaccurately while running, and has 80% higher weapon range. So the chicken is, I guess, some kind of sniper? And the parrot, who has a teeny tiny laser gun. Healing damage to enemies, reduce their walking speed for 2 seconds, has 40% lower cooldown time for active abilities, but also has 70% lower coin draw possibility. And then apparently there is a custom character with a pistol. You can create your own custom character with unique visuals, sounds and characteristics. For more information please visit gazingbeats.com mods. So I guess you can create the character on their website and then download a mod or something? And have it in there? I'm not sure. Anyway, so that's the platypus. And then there's a couple more. We're gonna go as Doc. So here we go. Let's try this out. This is a twin stick shooter on the joypad. So I walk with the left stick. I aim with the right stick. I shoot with the uh, right trigger. I have a really weird gun. I can also dash with the left trigger. And from what I've noticed, that's it. Bait. Minus 1 HP every time your active ability is charged, unless you have only 1 HP left. Alright, so from what I understood with this game, is that um, you basically find these items, and the items increase the value at the top, and apparently if you... Yeah, there you go. That hurts me. And apparently if you um, find a shop, you can then turn the value in and get lots of money. Or something? I don't know. Like I said, I really know nothing about this game. I have uh, not really read anything about it, no tutorials or anything. Because, you know, we want to see how does this game actually work properly. Okay, those things can actually kill themselves with their own exploding eggs, which is kind of sad when you think about it. I have no idea if items are hidden in the grass. I'm gonna say... Maybe? Okay, those, those things need acid on the ground, so that's something. That was a frogo? Very cool music, like I said.
Who's exploding? Okay. That's some gold. Let's see. Oh yeah, those are spikes. The spikes kind of activate after a little while. So you, uh, and when they're out, you can't walk over them again. Oh. Uh. Oh, one second. I had to mute my mic there real quick because I was very loudly sneezing. Hey, Deeks. How's it going? Cowhead. Everybody. Okay, so. This is a boss room. This, I believe, might be a shop, and this is the next level. Let's go in here. Maybe this is the shop? I don't know what this is. Yes. Okay, cool. So here's this guy, and we can sell him all our stuff to, and he basically gives us value things, I guess. What is this? 50-50, you can find an artifact inside, or it gives plus one HP and plus one max HP. Okay, we got the max HP. Here's a penguin, um, who's got some kind of weird AC going on, very fine. Nail gun, bullets 8, damage 0.2, reload 08, distance 30, speed minus minus. Okay. Well, sadly, we do not have the money to buy any of this, so... Magic Globe says there are more ad artifacts to find. Okay. Wow. So, from the way that I understand this, is that there's basically these levels. The levels are based on a scene, I think. And, um... You basically loop around them. Like here right now, this is Swamp 1117. And you're basically trying to get to the boss. But you can also decide not to immediately go to the boss, but instead like get more stuff. And the, the stuff that matters is obviously this, so the artifacts. Now... What doesn't really help is when you don't read what they do. 70% chance to break a key on trying to use it. Minus 1 HP every time you enter the next level, unless you only have 1 HP left. Wow, okay. That's, that's pretty nutso, actually. But okay, so... They also have online leaderboards from what I've seen. It reminds me of Nuclear Throne. I've never actually played that. Oh, here's the boss, by the way. I'm a little weirded out why I just did that. Okay. So, mechanics with the boss, too. Got him though. There you go. Cool. So that gives us what is that? Small wallet. Adds your HP to your max HP, but not more than three. Holy shit! So the bosses basically give you positive artifacts. Ability to freeze all active enemies for three seconds. Cooldowns 15. Ah, so that gets rid of my dodge then. But I do still have that- do I still have that artifact that- no, I don't. So this like freezes all active enemies, but has a really long cooldown. Okay. Next level. Uh, this is supposed to be like a rogue light game. So now we're in the- oh boy. Oh wow, okay, these things explode, I guess. Why can't I pick up more coins? So I can only have- I can only have five coins. I do have this key. Oh, the key broke because of the lock. Aww. Oh 
god, okay. That thing can run through, uh... What's it called? Through, like, uh, walls, basically. Alright. Oh, wow, that's a lot of enemies. Okay. Ah, uh, got me. Graveyard area tournament unlocked. Okay, so... Items collected, killed by fake penguin. And now we retry, and that puts us back at the start, I guess. Okay. Now, I'm not quite sure what we actually keep, so this is like different levels now. Eye mask. Decreases weapon accuracy by 14%, shot may vary in that range. Probably doesn't really matter that much with this weapon, because it doesn't really have accuracy, does it? At least I don't see how it has accuracy. Oh right, I can like do my uh, my dodging again. I guess the idea is that you like. I guess the idea is that you like unlock items by finding them or something like that. Jeez, I just lost a lot there. Oh, by the way, look how the uh, look how the duck dodges. Duck Dodgers is uh, a very slidey man. Okay. I love the sounds in this. This game has a uh, very cool music and sounds. Okay, what is this? Invisible key. No locked or secret doors. Effective from next level. Okay. I take it there's gonna be like a nice amount of... Oh god. Is that me? Yes. This token. You drop your collected coins on taking damage. Okay. That's some real curse shit right there. I wonder what else awaits us in this game. I mean, we saw that there's already, like, the graveyard area. Apparently invisible froggos. Yep, those are, those sure are invisible frogs. Oh god, why can't I, I can't aim. I, ca I can't aim with my control. Oh, I took damage, really. Uh, there's the shop, so that's good. Alright, we might actually be able to buy ourselves something now. The swamp shop. Duke. Let's see. Plus one max HP. Plus five coins increased chance to loot more coins. Okay. All right. That's good. What do we got? Small crystal gun. Bullet one plus one. Damage two. Reload zero eight. Distance a hundred. Okay. I have no idea what that is in comparison to my gun though. Nail gun. Teeny tiny laser gun. Well, let's go with the most expensive. Why not? Looks good, looks good. Let's check it out. I bet it's shit and I just made like terrible error. Oh, I see, right. It's like, it's got... It, it of course is still using the special, uh... Uh, what's it called? The special skill of the duck, which is two double shots. Wooden hearts, minus 50% chance to loot hearts. Okay. And now we're doing the boss then. So probably shouldn't even have picked that up, but who knows. Well, it's our buddy again, so... Ah. I 
think it does more damage, but it probably uh, shoots slower. Definitely figured this out, this guy out by now, so that makes it like a little easier. Buddy. Yeah, you shoot your shit. Oh! Ooh. Now I got you! Oh no, I took damage! But immediately got the damage back. Okay, oh, it's a teddy. Ability to be invincible for three seconds. Ooh. Okay. What's this? Increase reload speed and fire rate by 10%. Ooh. No, my heart won't go on. Magma increases explosion range by 50%. Okay, okay. Nice. Well, off we go back to the graveyard. What do you guys think about the game so far? Oh, these are just... I just realized these are not walls. These are like fucking hedges. That mass system... Oh, okay. Oh my god, those explosions. Now that the explosion range is uh, bigger, that's pretty nuts. like mushroom meat? Black potato. <laughs> Ew. Don't eat the black potato. What does that do? You lose two coins for every one damage you get. Okay. That's not too bad. No damage there. right into that though. This uh, teleports you onto the hatch every time you get damaged. That's hilarious, I guess? No key, sadly. Let's go. This cannot shoot for five seconds after taking damage. Jeez. Okay, we're like really getting into like the crazy shit now. Oh no, what? Oh my god, okay. Those fucking things actually like the, the gelatin blobs or whatever they are? They actually stay on the ground and you can run into them and they can do damage. Okay, that's nuts. That's pretty nuts. Alright. Ah, oh, no! Got sniped by the worm! Ah, anyway, items collected. Okay. So, things that I haven't quite figured out yet. So, what exactly do we gain? from like collecting those items and, and like running and so on because I don't feel like we're unlocking anything for like future run hey Shrike is this like Binding of Isaac but with a duck it's not just a duck actually wait we can change character can't we how do I oh do I just have to like well no I can just select quit yeah of course um there is a duck definitely a duck but there's also um, others. There's a platypus, a bluebird, a chicken, a penguin, and a parrot. Honestly, we're gonna try out the parrot. I wanna try out the... Wait, what's this? 
Wait, did we unlock someone? Oh, we unlocked the penguin. We didn't have the penguin before. Snowball Cannon has a chance to clone killed enemy by exchanging artifacts for every two risk value. By exchanging artifacts for every two risk value gets an additional hard drop. Penguin time, let's go. The box head is the customizable character. He's got a box on his head because he's not uh, it's, he's not customized right now. So wait, like, I actually thought when it said has a chance to clone the enemy, I thought that means that I get the clone. You know, like the clone is a friendly. The clone is not a friendly. Also look at the little penguin slide. Wow, that thing just died on the uh, spike. Icom00, thank you for the comments. Hope to see you around in the future. Watch, huh? Okay, that's the lock with the key, I remember that. What do we have here? Drop coins explode on disappearing. Hilarious. Oh, so yeah, guys, uh. How about them piggies? Maybe I need a duck piggy for uh, next emote update. Still uh, thinking about what's the next piggy is going to be, by the way. Middle of the month of May is uh, when I should be able... Actually, it is like the middle of the month of May. But uh, So I should be able to add a new emote soon. Yeah, this just clones enemies. This is hilarious. I wonder if that means that it's supposed to be harder, or if that just means that you have more chances of getting loot from them. Yeah, I've also never been a big fan of Binding of Isaac. It's never been my, my kind of game. Really. Oh god. These fucking clones. Cloning invisible enemies, very helpful. Alright, ye oldy shop, let's go. Has this game been hard so far? Um, not really hard. I'd say like decent, and especially since you know I've only been playing it for 20 minutes. Um, I have been playing it on normal difficulty. I wouldn't say that it's hard, but it's certainly challenging enough. When you pick up an artifact and drop loot, increases your run speed by 15%. Okay, and we can buy a teeny tiny laser gun. A shotgun. Well, I mean, let's wait till we can buy a shotgun. I, I kind of like this. Wait, this gun closed. That's all right. Though. I kind of like this gun. Unless when, you know, it's endlessly close to my uh, God, I just took so much damage. That's hard, though. Oh no, I forgot that the spikes are... <laughs> I forgot the spikes do damage when they're out. It's definitely nice compared to the chicken. Uh, the chicken starter gun to have a gun that definitely um, has more range. I'm not sure why the enemies sometimes have these little, uh, like, voice, oh god, well, voice chat bubbles above their heads. I think that's just when they do some, like, uh, a sound effect or something? But yeah, by the way, for anyone wondering, I am playing this with a uh, gamepad. You can totally play it with keyboard and mouse. Uh, which might actually be a little better too, because I gotta say that, like right now, the the joystick um, controls actually feel like a little bit loose. Oh no! Uh, I didn't think you were there. My max HP. What is that artifact I picked up? On getting damage, max HP is taken away too. Yeah, I see. That's why I'm at 2 out of 3. Okay. What? What just... What the... 
Oh my god, there were spikes underneath the corpse of the enemy. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's try another character. Because I want to see, like, the different characters. So there's Pengi. Let's go with Parrot Boy. Let's go with Parrot Boy. Parrot Boy has a teeny tiny laser gun, if I remember correctly. Alright! Yup, okay. <laughs> it is a teeny tiny laser gun. It does not do, like, insanity damage, but it does shoot a lot. What's this? this? No locked or secret doors effective from the next level. That's alright, we don't have a key anyway. actually see the invisible frogs like where they are because they leave footsteps in the ground. It's actually kind of cool. I definitely like the parrots so far. Oh no. Got stuck on the... Got stuck on the uh, bush there. Give me that heart. Bosses drop more loot if players do not lose any HP during the boss fight. Okay. I like the little... I like the little animated, I don't know, birdie or penguin or whatever that is above the weapon. One of, one of the things that I definitely also like is that um, environmental hazards work on... Uh, work on enemies too, so they can run in the spikes and uh, die from that, just like you do. Or you know how like their their own explosives actually kill them. All right, let's see if we can do this without losing any health and get like bonus loots. You get three skulls. Oh, okay, okay. Got him. Oh no! There you go. Oh. Cool lantern increases chance to loot more artifact. 
Money, 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 hearts. Okay, what do we got here? Increases amount of acid pools spawned by enemies or bosses. Damn, that's terrible. Ability to increase fire rate for 3 seconds. Pull down 15 seconds. Uh, nah. When enemy dies, not from your shot, minus 3 coins or minus 1 key if you have no coins left. Damn. When you take damage, every enemy takes 1 damage too. Effective once per level. Boomerang, you do always come back. I mean, this has a cooldown of 15 seconds. I'd much rather have, like... I'd much rather have my, uh, my dodge. Quick, quick. All right, back in the graveyard, we are. At least this time we don't have, like, three times explosion radius. God, we're definitely doing so much less damage with this teeny tiny laser pistol. That's a ghost! What? Why why did a ghost just come out? Oh no, there was the shop! And I didn't see it! And I didn't go in! Oh no. As you can see, you're only watching the finest player in the universe right here. That's me. That's your boy. Was that the first time you know? Yeah, that was the first time I saw that ghost. Oh. oh no! That did two damage. Holy shit, I'm almost dead. Okay, what was that? Old slipper increases movement speed for enemies. Please, please no. Not e not faster enemies. Oh god, look at them. They're like on a. Oh god, this guy. These guys with speed. Oh god, worm. Worm, 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 worm. Oh, mushroom got eaten by ghosts, I guess. Oh nice, the worm artillery can actually also kill uh can actually also kill enemies. That's really cool. Oh god, my, my shots are slower now? Your projectile speed is reduced by 50%. Look at this. No. I could really use a shop. A shop should be great. Help us pull to them. Dead bug. Oh, can I have two of them? You can have multiple of them, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, wow. Gotta basically try and kill like the crazy. What's that ghost doing? No, I was too close. I thought I was far enough away. No. Oh man. Ah, oh, okay. Let's uh, try out another character. So we had the parrot. Chicken time. I wish there was a piggy. Okay, so walking around terrible accuracy. Standing still, actually crazy good accuracy, alright. Oh yeah, and it does like way more damage to target than 
Good start. This game feels like it would be nicer with friends to play? Oh, I mean, everything is nicer with friends. What is this? 50% chance that your weapon will get stuck. Fuck off. Really? Oh my god, that's actually nuts. Yeah, I definitely agree. I mean, like I said, every game is, you know, a lot better, a lot better with friends, and so would this game be. Um, but it's not like you're really, you know, you're not like losing out on the game by playing it solo. I definitely not. I wonder, I wonder how it works when you play this with friends, if it's like the same levels with the same amount of, well, if it's the same levels with the same amount of enemies and so on. Or if there's actually... Like the levels are bigger or there's more enemies or, or something like that, you know. No, no, I'm not forgetting the shop this time. To be fair, going to the shop right now... I mean, I guess it's okay. If you have 1 HP left, your weapon deals double damage. Noise. Increased chance to get better weapons in the shop. Oh, okay. Not like spectacular, but... Chicken has a pretty cool gun. I like this gun. They could definitely do a bit more... What the hell? Oh no, that little thing. I could definitely do like a little more accurate shooting with um, a mouse. But I did want to try how this is with... Uh, Void pad. So now because I'm at one health, my gun actually deals like double damage. And it already deals a lot of damage to enemies that are marked, so... Let's see how the boss goes with double damage on this gun. That's actually kind of interesting. Damn. Okay, well this boss isn't gonna take a long time. I could actually pick up that heart, but that would just make the boss longer, so... Oh, or I could die because that thing comes out of the little smoke cloud too qu quick for me. Ah, Killed by a zit. <sighs> just like in real life, everything dies when my zits come out. Alright. The boss is always the same. The first boss in the swamp seems to always be the same, yes. Uh, let's play the platypus. Platypus. I don't even know what sound a platypus makes, does it? So that's actually the gun that those enemies use. Let's lose one coin on it every time you enter the next level. Nice. Very, very helpful. 0 0.8 value though. Why can't I? Oh, because there's still <laughs> that thing left, yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is the first time we're actually going... Okay. Oh. 
Achievement unlocked indie, is that you? Teleports you onto the hatch every time you get down. Okay. So this is what is behind locked doors, I see. And there's another locked door, but we don't have another key. That's kinda sad. Oh, oh the frog from behind. <laughs> Damn. Alright, let's try like one more character. If we haven't yet. Is there a character we haven't? The bluebird. We haven't tried the bluebird yet. And the customizable character, because because he's not customized, it's like. So the bluebird has like a pretty slow firing gun, but it seems to do pretty alright damage. Like a revolver or something. I'll show you why they call me Revolver Bluebird. I kind of wonder, by the way, if the chance of getting um, another entrance to uh, what's it called to the shop is actually higher if you don't enter the shop, or if it's literally just you know, like kind of random. Bother me if you do not have any artifact. Oh. Nothing here. There's the, there's the shop again. It was actually a pretty good decision to keep going. Shop seems totally random now, though. I think. Maybe? Cool, so what can we get? The small purple blaster. Or the nail gun. Bullets 8. Fuck it, nail gun time. Let's try this thing out. Okay, honestly, that's kind of not what I expected the nail gun to be like. Ooh. Oh, it disappeared. It wasn't fast enough. Yeah, definitely not what I expected the nail gun to be like. It does like decent damage, I guess. It's like, you know, like an insanely amazing soundtrack, but it's definitely something very fitting for this kind of um, something very fitting for this kind of game. And it uh, it doesn't really distract you from the game 
but it does kind of like get you in the in the mood for shooting. So. Got him! Reduces reload speed and fire rate by 40%. Sure, buddy, let's go. Just what I always wanted. Ability to freeze, I like that. That was cool last time. Transdimensional pizza. Minus one max HP, restores all HP and plus 20% weapon damage. Okay. So basically... God damn. Some of the music reminds me of Metroid. Uh, I guess with some of it I could see it, yeah. The graveyard music is cool. Uh, are you gonna die or... There you go. Nice, shop again. Okay, let's see if we can get through this. Oh, can they like... Can they smash into stuff and actually take damage from that? Because I think they might. I, I really don't think this is like an actual nail gun. This is some kind of weird bird version of a nail gun. Have you ever seen a bird use a hammer? They have no idea about nailing. Nice. Okay, what we got? Doubles the amount of coins you currently have or gives you 10 if you had not. Nice, 18 coins. Enemies don't see you for 5 seconds after you jump out of the hat. What is this? The rail gun. Damage 4. Plasma gun. Railgun time! River, river, rail gun. Can that shoot through enemies? Oh boy, oh boy. Ooh. Okay. It looks like it should be an AoE. It is not an AoE. It is very cool, though. All right, I forgot. I have a goddamn freeze now that is actually really helpful. What I want to do. Okay. Nice. Fuck. Oh no. Okay, I can take it. I got the hearts. Oh no! I forgot! Damn it. Hey, Crazy Bean, hello. How did I forget about that? Come out here, you worm! There you go. Perfect worm. Uh, time for shopping! Wait, I don't actually have any artifacts, I just realized. I could buy some. What is this? Random weapon. Plasma gun. Zip. I'm counting artifacts to disturb me. Decreases weapon XUG. By 14%. Oh god. Yeah, okay. 
it's a little bit less accurate now, but oh my god, that's a lot of enemies. That accuracy! Ah, the ghost! The ghost isn't being frozen! Oh no no. There you go. Ah ghost! Oh, like a Scooby-Doo show all over here. No, the accuracy. The accuracy minus, it really doesn't help. Ah! Ooh. Increases explosion. Oh god, it's the magma, but still gives us a value of like 0 0.1, I guess, till the next level or something like that. Oh god, graveyard boss. Bogey. Bogey leaves acid. Can I freeze Bogey? No. Nope. Ah! Ah! Oh, fuck. Okay. Can't freeze his uh, short cyber. Damn. Oh, he was so fast all of a sudden. In this case, if I had had my dodge, I would have actually survived that instead of... Uh, Having the freeze. Oh, that's kind of sad, but what can you do? That's kind of sad. Anyway, this is, uh, I don't know. It's, it's pretty interesting. It's definitely fun. It's not the kind of game that I normally play, um, which means that I'm slightly lukewarmer on it than I normally am. Um, it's interesting. I think for everybody who likes these kind of games, kind of like Binding of Isaac and so on, I think this is great. And you should definitely take a look at it, Blazing Beaks. Um, if you're not into this, uh, it says story. There is no story. Uh, basically, you know, there's no narrative or whatever. There's just cute characters with really kind of interesting guns. The enemies uh, so far in these first two levels that we saw, or well, biomes, I should probably say. Mm, the enemies are okay. I wouldn't really say that they're very interesting or special it's kind of just like shoots a ball shoots three balls is invisible but they all kind of work together very well so i mean i don't i don't mind that i think that's pretty good yeah i had fun with it i can definitely recommend it to everybody who likes these kind of binding of isaac type games if you're not into that if you're looking to get into it i think this might be good too because it doesn't seem overly crazy punishing or hard the mechanics are fine, the levels are quick and dirty, the enemies are decent to figure out and fight against, there's some environmental hazards, the bosses have, well, one of them had a mechanic to it, the other one was kind of like, you know, more of a dodgy boss. So yeah, definitely enjoyed this. Huge, huge thanks once again to the developers and of course to everybody watching this. So yeah, thank you very much.